so much to talk about this week. It was a wild game on Saturday, and you said to me, <laughs> Coach, after the game on Saturday, hey, let's have some fun on the show this week. So <laughs> let's. Sure, let's enjoy this. <laughs> what a wild game. Have you ever been a part of anything like that before? No, I really haven't. You know, we've had some game winners. We've had some last-second uh, field goals to win games, last-second touchdowns to win games, last-second stops. But nothing uh, have I gone through that, you know, can mirror the last three minutes of that game right there. <laughs> well, take us through the game. What did you like about it? Uh, and, and kind of what was your assessment of things through that one? Well, first off, I give our guys a lot of credit, number one, to be in that position. Um, you know, obviously Florida Tech did some things at the end of the game that gave us the ball. But if it's not a one-point game, none of that really matters. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, we came out, we matched them, kicked two field goals, got into the red zone, did that in the first half, down a point. They score a touchdown. We come back, match it. And then really, I, I mean, a great defensive game uh, from that point on. They were winning the field position battle. We were backed up. Every time it seemed like we got something going, uh, you know, we kind of hurt ourselves. Whether we had a drop or, you know, the last drive, we have two penalties mm -hmm. uh, and a drop in it as well. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. You're going to have to deal with the consequences. And really what the consequences were is we gave the ball back and now we had to rely on our defense. Defense found a way to get us the ball. Well, let's take a look back through it. It's the Coastal Classic. Last year in Pensacola, Melbourne, or uh, Florida Tech came in ranked. This year down in Melbourne, just outside of the rankings. And then after they scored, you guys were able to come back and, boy, it looked like uh, you guys had some receivers, including Robinson, that had some big games in this one. Well, no, we did. You know, Mike Mike did a great job right there getting the ball to Caleb. Um, you know, this is really just a couple of missed tackles. I mean, you know, that should have been a simple two-yard gain. Uh, we got that fixed later in the game. You know, they ran that a couple times. They didn't have that type of success. Um, and then going deep right here, uh, we saw Karan Ashley, the ability of him to jump. Now you see the ability of him to run. Uh, great day for him as a redshirt freshman. He just got ahead of his defender there, and Beaudry did a nice job to throw it up and let him go get it. Really did. Uh, Mike, Mike saw, saw that, read that well, and uh, excited to have that play. Obviously, that ignited us. Um, here we're back on defense, really just out of position, um, you know, one gap over. Um, their quarterback, Trent, I thought he did a, a really nice job running their offense. Um, this was fun to see. Chris Schwartz, 75 yards, starting to churn out a little bit in the run game. Uh, here's Austin in the first half. Um, you know, and uh, he, he, is, he has just been, you know, he, he was focused in all week in practice. Uh, you know, he, had a, he, had, he, he kicked extremely well before the, the game winner. Uh, but to see him do that was great. And then Chris Schwartz really scored on the play before uh, and uh, then just put it in definitively on that one. Well, it was good to see. That was a, that was a big touchdown of the game as well. And then Vaudry find Caleb Robinson here. Oh, yeah, no, this was great. Coach D said it was a second and ten call, and uh, I was like, hey, what are your suggestions? Jamie D said, let's run that combination. Worked out great. Uh, and then, you know, we ran into a little trouble. Gave up a sack. Mike gets hit. Um, and here's the play, really, that changed the game. Cato should be sliding. Uh, and he didn't. <laughs> Even their left tackle knows it. And then, really, we get the intentional grounding, which I think is a good call. I know FIT doesn't, but if we hadn't gotten the intentional grounding, we should have got two holding penalties, uh, you know, something that FIT was teaching their players to do. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that the rules committee addressed this year. Uh, last play of the game can't end in an offensive uh, penalty. And I'll, I'll tell you what, Austin Williams knocking it in. Uh, Felt he was good. I felt he was good before the penalty, to be honest with you. I, 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 I sit here today completely honest with you. I was not nervous. I, I felt like he was going to knock a 55-yarder to win the game. 44 made it easier. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So uh, as long as you guys were getting the ball back, he was going to be in there to kick that field goal regardless of the distance. Yeah, I, I felt like where the ball was, you know, and they helped us a tremendous – I mean, they got to delay a game penalty, uh, you know, which took five yards mm -hmm. away. Even if that hadn't have been there, it would have been longer. Uh, and here we are celebrating in the locker room. Might be the funnest moment, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I've had at post-game locker room. Two years in a row, the FIT celebration has been one, you know, just one to remember and one for the ages. It, it's been a blast. Well, we get to hang on to the Coastal Classic Trophy for another another year, which is always fun. Some great performances in this game. Mike Beaudry really played well. It seems like he just continues to grow up every week. And, and there were some incompletions in that game that I really felt weren't his fault. Oh, not at all. And, you know, you know, you look at Mike's stats, and he's, he's 12 for 30, you know, 199 yards. Really had five drops. If, dro if you don't have those drops, he's got about 280 yards passing. 
And then he did a great job on three or four occasions throwing the ball away. And, you know, we, we say, you know, that that's great football management on his part. Uh, so that was very, very good to see. You touched on Chris Schwartz, but he averaged – what, almost uh, five yards a carry, you'll take that out of your running backs. Most definitely. Chris is starting to get it, starting to churn it. Uh, we got to get him a couple more touches in there, uh, but really like what we're seeing out of him. And what you see running is really only half of what he does. Uh, he, he is as good of a pass-protecting running back that, that I've ever been around. He, he, he takes pride in it and does a fantastic job. He's a stout guy. I'm sure that helps <laughs> a little bit, too. Uh, Karan Ashley, kind of a shame that he doesn't end up getting freshman of the week honors. Yeah, I thought great, great uh, uh, you know, great game by him. Uh, five catches over 100 yards, the 76-yard touchdown. Really had another touchdown that, uh, you know, we had a holding penalty on. Uh, very pleased with how he's progressing and what he's able to do. Talk about your defense. Obviously, their guy's tough to stop offensively. He, he, he's tough to slow down, but it looked like you guys – mixed in some packages that really gave him problems. Well, you know, he's going to get his yards. He's as good in space as there is in the Gulf South Conference. I mean, we, we, we face two running backs uh, and one at Delta State in a couple of weeks that are, I, I think, as good as there is in the country. Uh, uh, you know, FIT's running back is as shifty and explosive as there is. You know, 31 carries, 170 yards, that sounds like a lot, but he's got the ability to break a 50-yarder almost every time he touches it. Austin Williams, you've got to be happy with what you've seen out of him, especially in a situation he goes out there to kick the game winner, and his normal holder's not out there. At what point did you realize Mike wasn't going to be able to go? Well, they, had, they were concerned about Mike on the sideline, and, you know, they were talking to him, and uh, I just told Twan, I said, go out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, talk to him, see what happens. Uh, you, you got Austin on later. Uh, it's a great story just, you know, when he found out that <laughs> Antoine Griffin was his holder and Mike Beaudry wasn't going to be out there. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait to hear that. That's unbelievable. <laughs>